All right, hey guys, welcome back. So we just found the first uniform piece. Now we need to get the second uniform. Ooh, we chased off LeBlanc's meatheads, so now Kamari won't have to worry. All right, so that's Riku. She's disguised herself. Now we get, need to get a uniform for Pain and for Yuna. Um, let me just make sure everything is in order. I kind of forgot what we were doing. I think we all have the Stonehen garment grid now. Yeah. Kind of wondering if it works, if I can just switch between um, I'm thinking I can just switch between like Warrior and White Mage, or between Black Mage and Festivalist, and automatically receive the the bonus. But let me go to Yuna, and we still haven't learned Twinkler. It's taking a long time to learn Twinkler. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and go to the next area. We're gonna be going to Jose Temple. This is where we got um, the horse Aeon. Or was it the horse Aeon? Actually, I forgot which Everyone's Aeon came from here. <laughs> You're famous, Uni. Better get used to it. <sighs> All I want is some peace and quiet. <laughs> Poor thing. She's led such a sheltered life. Maybe she's getting old. <laughs> Who's getting old? Huh, who's that? Oh, cool guy. That's Gipple, leader of the machine faction. The machine he faction? Can be kind of annoying, but he's alright. Okay, let's do some interviews. Bring it! <laughs> yeah, he seems alright. Alright, so for the second uniform, well, let's just go ahead and save real quick. Okay, for the second uniform, we actually have to go back this way. It says, head over to the temple and then towards the crossroads that allow you to access the temple, Moonfall and Mushroom Rock Road. We have to go back this way. Oh, wait, there's a chest. Squirt potions. And then there's going to be some crossroad up here. And then here we here we are. We need to talk to these guys. Nothing goes for LeBlanc, nothing goes for the Dolings. For the LeBlanc Saloon kids, book the solid for today. Alright, so what the heck? I just got stuck. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be some random encounters. Just make sure my health is okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so let's see. I need to. Where am I supposed to go? Speak to the hover operator and he will tell you that LeBron Syndicate have taken over the rentals, so you have to continue on foot. Walk in that direction and you will eventually find her. Okay, I think we have to walk in this direction. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe not. Wait a minute, maybe we... <laughs> I think this might be the wrong way. I think we're supposed to go this way, actually. Although, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, that's weird. Where did we drop that thing? We gotta find that sphere, or the boss will be furious. We might even get the heal. Why don't you stop complaining and help me look? <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Let's find it first. Uh -oh. Someone's turning Yuna into a bad girl. Who? Mission time. Find the missing sphere. All right, let's find it. Let's finish this lickety split. Think we can break our record? Let's just win.
I'm gonna go ahead and switch pain after this. Drink up. Oh, I can't switch all the way to white mage. Hmm. Oh, that's a problem. We're gonna have to fix that. I thought you could switch to anywhere on the garment grid, but apparently you can't. So, that's another problem. Huh. So you actually have to switch twice in order to get the defense plus 15. Um, Alright, so we're gonna make some changes. We're gonna put White Mage here. And... Hmm. Maybe we'll switch it like that. I think that's good. That way Riku can be a, a white mage too. Didn't make any big changes, but uh, just some minor ones. Follow them and you'll eventually find a sphere lying on the ground and you can acquire a special dress sphere. Flora, follow. Follow. Fly. Follow. I think it's Fowl. Yeah, those freaking chocobos. I just run away. Fire god. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Tried to switch again, but not enough time. Alright, so we should find... Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Pain's MP is awfully low. I wonder if your class has anything to do with that. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it, it does, okay. You just saw Pain just got a ton of MP from switching classes. And everyone's healed up. Alright, nothing over there. Here we should be getting close to that sphere. Should be somewhere around here. And we're also gonna have to fight a boss. We're gonna have to fight Ormi and Logos. Which I'm kinda worried about. Floral Follow. After changing to all the dress spheres on a character's active garment grid, call up the garment grid with LB and then press RB to activate the special dress sphere. You scored the Unerring Path Garment Grid. So that's Ooh. where it was. We're gonna try to activate that. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I appreciate you finding it for us, though. What? You're not giving it back? Nope. The nerve! <laughs> the gold wings. These meanies won't give me back the sphere! <laughs> so then we take it back. And on that note, take it back. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Hmm. You guys deserve a medal. Alright, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and switch. Let's kill the Finn goons first. So I'm gonna have Yuna switch to every dress sphere, and then I'm gonna have her transform into her ultimate dress sphere. Magic rages within me. I'm gonna keep praying. Oh, whoa. <laughs> now she's a white mage. And now I'm gonna switch to Warrior. And then let's use Kira on everybody. 
Black Mage, Thunder Roll. Alright, now we switch to every single thing on the Sphere Grid, so now we can activate her Special Sphere. Her special, special Dress Sphere. Revive Floral Fall. Ouch. It's not over yet. How long does it take for- oh. Riku and Pain have left, and now it's just Yuna. Sailor Moon! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Whoa. Follery. Aqua World. Silent Light, inflict damage, slow all enemies. Have the HP of all enemies. Right? Floral Bomb, damage all enemies and lower their strength. Oh wow, we can attack three times. This is pretty cool. I'll take a picture of this. Such sweet sorrow. Whoa. I have a lot of health as well. Awesome. Oh, that didn't even work. Crap. Kind of a cool, like, special ability, especially for a boss fight. And I can st I can restore my own HP. That's cool. I'm like a boss. It's awesome. Oh, one guy's already dead. Hard leaves, reduce magical damage inflicted on the party. Flux spells, reduce physical damage inflicted on the party. Damage all enemies and all the strength. Oh, it's over. <laughs> kind of a cool transformation. It's not very powerful or anything like that, but it's, it's interesting. It's kind of cool. Especially for a boss fight. I mean, that's actually pretty useful for boss battles. I wonder what happens if you die, though. Do the other characters come back? You liberated a Syndicate uniform. Iron Bangle and a Silver Bracer. And we're back on the airship once again. Okay, so there's two side quests I have to complete before getting the third uniform. But before I do that, let's uh, see what those... Um, New things we got. We got a Iron Bangle, raises max HP by 20%, and we also got a Silver Bracer, raises max MP by 40%. That's awesome. Sweet. Now Riku has a lot more MP. Um, Alright, so Yuna. Guards against silence. Okay. I guess we'll get rid of this, and we'll put the... Well, actually, Riku has the least health. Actually, Pain has low health, too. Why do they have such low health? Wait, maybe it's because of their dress sphere. Um, raises magic by 10. I'm wondering if I should remove the amulet, and instead give an HP bonus, or should I give that to someone else? Alright, let's switch classes real quick, because I'm not really understanding uh, the HP levels when they're not the right class. Well, Festivalist has a lot of HP. Alright, so let's make Pain a warrior again. Yeah, okay, so Riku has quite low health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Riku the... Um, wait, what did it go? Did I already give it to someone? <laughs> On accident, maybe? Oh, 
Oh, it's Iron Bangle. Oops, I don't know what I was looking at. Oh, oh wait, there we go. I was just, for some reason it was lower on the list, and it didn't show me the number one slot, which is the Iron Bangle. So I'm gonna give the Iron Bangle to Riku, give her a little bit more HP, and I'm gonna give uh, Yuna the other item that raises magic by 10. That'll make her magic abilities a little bit stronger, I think, and one more thing, let me just look at Yuna real quick. Auto abilities Lightning Ward, okay. Okay, so Yuna's kind of resistant against lightning attacks. Save. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Making some good progress. Alright, there's two little side quests I have to do, and as you can see, Pain is now dressed up. So I have to go back to Jose Temple. And I have to talk to that guy that we saw in that cutscene. We actually have to go in the temple and do some things. I'm not really sure what. What? You want to make some money digging? You gotta go register first. Register where? Here? Oh, there's a chest. Oh, I have to wait in line. Not gonna research in the Temple of Yevon. That times have really changed. Alright, so I just have to talk to people. And the line will go down, and then I have to register for the for the dig. All right, just have to talk to these two people, I think. Earn gill by digging up Machina or other treasures. Interesting. Anyone over there? Nope. Anyone over here? There we go. Now it's our turn. I want to dig. Alright, go into the temple. Gippo will interview you. Alright. So now I get to go into the temple. This shouldn't be too long. It should be pretty short. Oh, how have we killed the guardian? Huh? Hello. You are uh, here for an interview. Uh huh. The Great High Summoner wants an interview. Former Summoner. Hmm. All right. Follow me. Wait, did he just leave? I think he just left. Did he? Or did he go in further? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> the camera angle made it made it kind of look like he left. But I guess he went for, further in. Alright, I guess we go this way. Oh, no. Maybe he did leave. Let's see what's in these doors. Sometimes there's treasure in these rooms. Like right here. Echo screen next to you. Let's go on the other one. I think he did leave, actually. Don't see any treasure. Alright, so he definitely did leave. Um, let's see where we went. We need to talk to him because the third uniform is going to be in the desert and we need his help, I think. Something like that. Something, something, something. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Never been this close to a celebrity before. That's nice. I could get used to this. Let's not. 
Well, if it isn't Sid's girl, how you been? Hey, I have a name. Huh, brother doing okay? Same as ever. Buddy's around too. <laughs> Same as ever is right. Oh, y you! Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, huh? We're here for the interview. Right. The interview. Such an awkward conversation. <laughs> what the heck? You sure you want to dig? Because we're talking about the desert, ladies. Not exactly a picnic. All right, you're hired. Welcome. Huh? <laughs> you are hired. Best interview ever. Don't know why a superstar like you would want to play in the sand. Well, do what you gotta do. Anyways, I've done what I can. Dig to your heart's content. Um, thanks. Show this letter to a woman named Nadala. You'll find her in the Beacon Hill Desert. Happy digging! Alright, so that's the letter I needed. So now I need to go to Bicanel Desert. Um and I have to I have to do another like side quest, so let's board the airship. Let's go ahead and make a save. And we have to do some other side quest, and then we can finally get the third uniform. Alright, so before I do anything, let me just pause. I want to go on the guide and make sure I'm following what I'm supposed to do. Do do do. Head over to the desert and you'll see someone talking to Riku in pain, then talk to the man in front of the hovercraft, and then to the two men behind him. Once you've done all that, not a level return from her trip, you can then speak with her and show her the letter. Alright. Let's get this treasure first. It's locked. Alright. Well, let's talk to the person that's talking to Riku and Pain. Actually, I have no idea where they even are. Huh? Oh, here's a... Okay, this person sells stuff. Um, Phoenix Downs, Antidotes, Holy Water... Fiery Gleam adds fire element to attack and skills. Has fire damage. Nah, I'm not gonna buy that. Alright, let's go. I guess we'll just talk to everybody. It says I'm supposed to. That's weird. weird. You'll see someone talking to Riku and Pain. I don't see anyone talking to Riku or Pain. I guess we just need to talk to everybody real quick. Gotta find the key before not a well that lets me have it again. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, maybe I'm supposed to talk to this thing. Nope. You're gonna need Nala's permission first. Where's not a lot at? I'm busy, so make oh, it fast, okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Yuni, show her Gippo's letter. Oh, so you're the new guys. That's us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. Oh, before you start digging, I'd really like you to go check out the Oasis for me. Some strange stuff's been washing up there lately. I'd appreciate it if you looked into it. 
All right, hold on a second. She'll set you to do some excavating for her. Talk to the man in front of the hover vehicle again, and the mission will start. The objective here is to find the treasure on the map. You're looking for a yellow icon on the map, so ignore all of the other treasures and head for that one. After you have gotten it, return to the hovercraft again, get back to base, head over to Nautila, and you'll receive a Garma grid. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Rank Sandbox League. Let's go to the Oasis. Alright, so it looks like we're going to find some treasure. To find some yellow thing. I miss Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X soundtrack. The music in this game just isn't isn't as familiar to me. <laughs> Alright. Um... Where the heck are we going? We're going down this way? Yep. Look, a sphere. Wait a minute. Just try it one. Oh, crap. I went to the wrong place. We found the Machina Maw. I think that's what we were supposed to do to get... Okay. Logos and two henchmen are going to appear for a fight, but the Machina Maw is Riku special, so I guess we'll try Riku well, special out. Fancy meeting you, here. you can lead a gullwing to water, but you can't make it drink. Um, say, those are nice uniforms. Of <laughs> course. Of He's trying to steal thanks. their clothes. It's kind of silly. Well, well. Riku's special dress sphere is the best, in my opinion. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna switch to the white dress sphere so I can heal up. With pain, and I'm gonna keep switching dress spheres until we can enable Riku's special. Turn the switch. I really like these animations. They're pretty cool. Alright, time to activate our special. There we go. Goodbye, little girl. Here we go. Riku's special Garma Grid. Dress sphere, I should say. I'm pretty sure that's the shortened animation. Super duper mega ultra assault mode. Death missile inflict defeat one enemy sometimes fails. Inflict damage and petrification, damage and poison. Homing ray damage one enemy. Use R skills. Alistair damage one enemy. HP restore. Restore. Alistair, humming away, getting in there. Alright, we'll just see what these attacks do. Should 
She kind of reminds me of D.Va from Overwatch. Ready to fire, sir! Alright, I think Howisters are a lot more powerful. 125? Well, not too much. I think you can learn new skills for your special uh, dress sphere as well, if you level it up enough. But you have to use it. <laughs> Man, it's kind of hard to switch to it constantly. Well, that was an easy boss fight, just like the last one. And we got our two special dress spheres, great. On the Syndicate uniform. A lure bracer. You scored the Hour of Need garment grid. I thought I was supposed to do something different. This guide told me I was supposed to do this like mini quest first, but apparently I didn't have to do that. Well, we found all the three dress spheres, so now we can finally continue on with the story. Well, it's perfect. We're off to Chateau Leblanc. Let's settle the score. Mission completed. Bum rush, garment grid, something like that. What is it? I forgot what it even said. I'm going to return to the bridge and save the game. And I'm also going to look up. Well, before I save, let me look at the two new garment grids. Er. What were those two? Bum rush. This is the one we just unlocked. Equip strength and magic plus 10. So you have to do two switches in order to unlock all those abilities. Dang. Magic's on the right side, strength's on the left side. Protection, Hour of Need. I think this one is new as well. Yeah, this one's new. This one gives... Or is it new? I don't even know. <laughs> Heart Reborn, Stonehand. I like this grid just because it gives you defense plus 10 just for using it. Um, the other ones... Oh, this one gives defense and magic defense plus 10. Unearing Path. Alright, so this is good for the special dress spheres because you only have to switch dress spheres once in order to use it. Um, Great ideal for accessing special dress spheres quickly. So if we wanted to uh, train our special dress spheres, this would be the best grid to use. But I don't think I'm going to be training the special dress spheres. Doesn't really seem like there's a point to. So I think I'm going to switch everyone to the bum rush grid. Strength, magic, strength, magic. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the white mage in the middle, put the black mage on the right side. Alright, I'll put warrior on the left side, and then festivalist on top, and what else? Uh, I guess we can put, I don't know, maybe the, sh the songstress on the bottom. I guess. I'm not going to be using this one. Okay, we can also uh, unlock new classes. These aren't all the classes in the game. I guess I forgot to mention that, but there's like... There's probably like 15 classes, and a lot of them are unlockable by doing side quests and such. But that's pretty much it. Um, oh wait, we have to put everyone on the new garment grid. I forgot about that. We're going to put everyone on the bum rush garment grid. This will give us an offensive boost, but it'll lower our defense. Is that... is that worthwhile? Yeah, I guess so. I know this is really slow having to switch so much. 
I gotta do this every single time. It's annoying. Alright, I think we're good for now. Alright, so... Let me just scroll down in the guide. Do do do. Hour of New Garment Grid is a bonus. It is recommended that you complete side quests before heading to Guadalajara. As after this mission, you will be not able to use the Celsius until the completion of the chapter. No problem. We're not going to be doing any side quests. Screw that. We're just going to be going straight for Guadalajara. Uh, you will see the Bum Rush Garment Grid after collecting all three of the uniforms. Speak to Shinra and check out the Garment Grid tutorial if you haven't already done so before to get the Vanguard Garment Grid. Ah. Alright, we're gonna do this tutorial real quick just so we can get a new garment grid, the Vanguard Garment Grid. And I think I can speed this up just by pressing F1, speed up the game, turbo times four. It's still awfully slow though. Actually, I don't even know if it's speeding up this part or not. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not speeding up this cutscene. Dang, this is so slow. Oh my god. Why did they make these tutorials so long and so slow? You can't even exit out of them. It's the most annoying part. There we go. Oh, maybe you could by pressing start. Ah, I'm stupid. Should have done that from the beginning. Alright, let me check out the new garment grid we found. Vanguard. It's up here. Equip strength magic plus five. So the bum rush grid is a lot better than the Vanguard grid, so there is no reason to even do that. I don't know why this guide is so dumb. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna go to Guadalajara now. It says it's hard, so we may have a challenge in front of us, but oh well. Save. Have to walk into the mansion. I hope this works. Worry after we're caught. Okie dokie, let's change! We're trying to get the stolen spheres what? back. Reporting for duty! D thanks <laughs> Another smashing success. This is where we first met We're Seymour. Not done yet. Where's the sphere? For his uh, home, <gasps> Guadalajara's palace. Very creepy place. Thank you, LeBlanc. Anything for you, love. Now I finally know the location of Vegnagun. Spira is in for a rough ride. Take care. Are they together? <laughs> yes, love. Oh, how long must we be apart? These days without you are not easy on me, love. <laughs> <sighs> Le LeBlanc is such... She's like the slut of the game. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so I think we're supposed to follow her up here into her bedroom. You mustn't disturb her. Oops. Head into the room on the main floor. You'll remember this place where Seema... Oh, wait, okay, we have to go to this room first. And we'll find some people talking to themselves. The boss is a different poison when that nude guy shows up, huh? Suppressing her natural charm and acting like some housewife, she must be tense. You, go to the boss's chambre and tend to your duties. What duties? You know, use your talents to help her uh, unwind. 
<laughs> okay. I think I remember this part. This part is really strange. Oh, that time already, is it? Don't hold back, huh? The lesbian massage minigame. Awkward. <laughs> Give LeBlanc the massage of a lifetime. Watch your reaction and adjust your technique accordingly for peak pleasure. Satisfy LeBlanc. Up here. Mm, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. You've got the wrong spot. Oops. the occasional smile all the more irresistible that godly smile that's the whole reason I became a sphere hunter <sighs> oh, if only there was some miracle sphere something that could make him truly happy what I wouldn't give huh. oh. Asleep. Oh, I'm that good. <laughs> I'm that good. The boss fell asleep again. <laughs> One massage, and she's out like a light. We've been waiting for her to, because she had something important to tell us. We'll just have to keep waiting. In the meantime, you, go make sure the switch panel is working. Uh, switch? The back of the living room! The same one as always! Alright, so let me just scroll down this guide. I need to make sure that there's not any bosses coming up. Uh, alright. Find the switch in the room, it's near the left hand door. Wait. Wait, I don't think I'm supposed to go out here. It's near the left hand door. Where's the left hand door? Oh, there it is. Wait. I thought that was it on the wall, but I guess not. Oh, where the heck is this switch at? Is it over here? I'm like pressing A like crazy, like looking for this freaking switch. The heck? Is it over here somewhere? No. Alright. 
Um, so head back down to the main floor, find the switch in the room. It's near the left-hand door. Go head back down to the main floor room. Oh, wait. In here. Okay. It is in here somewhere. And we have to find the switch. It's over here somewhere. There we go. I thought it was upstairs in a room, but it's apparently down here. What does it do? Huh? Secret passageway. That's it? What a letdown. It's gonna be a little boss fight here. Take it up with the boss. Boss? Uh. <clears throat> I've had this thing on too long. Let's change. <laughs> Hooray. Back to sexy outfits. Okay, so we're about to battle with uh, some guy. This is brother. How's it going? Be quiet! This is a covert operation! Me and Over two and goons. Ah, Rico! How dare you speak to your leader like that? Oh, shut up already! Hmm? Who's there? Ah! The, the Gullwings! Uh-oh. Should be an easy fight. Oh wait, Rico's about to die. Uh oh. Ouch, 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 don't die, please don't die. Why are they all targeting Riku? Oh, this really sucks. Riku's probably gonna die here. Feel like taking a spin? <laughs> ah, crap! No, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Alright, I need to. Wait, white magic. Wait. Nope. Ice. Uh. Boost down. Right here. And Yuna's about to die. Crap. Man, when someone dies, it is so hard to recover. I'm gonna have to use an item to fully heal everybody. Feel like taking a spin? Oh, here we go. Now Rico's alive again. Try cure again. Come on. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. I have like barely any health. I really should train some more. I was not expecting to get completely destroyed. I should have taken out the goons first. I should be close to dying though. Super Collider. Learn Twinkler. What's Twinkler do? How did he freaking kill her that quickly? Oh my god, he's killing everyone! Kills everyone so fast! Alright. Alright, now that he's gone, we should be able to get through this. Wow. That was awful. That was just, just plain awful. Black Choker. Interesting.
All right, let's heal up everybody. Man. Are we really that bad of a team? Uh, so, I think I have a new ability for Yuna. She can cast something called Twinkler, cure user of status ailments and restore HP. I wonder how much HP she gets. Silence proof, guards against silence, poison proof, guards against pointless. Ultima sandals. I guess we'll just stay with this. Um, what's Riku learning? Fire, yeah. It's taking a long time. How about pain? What's she learning? Kiriga. I guess that'll be useful. I need to learn life. Revive one KO'd character. Um, reduce magical damage inflicted on the party. White magic level 2. Actually, learning white magic level 2 needs to be my priority right now. And also, what is she learning for warrior? She's learning to delay attack. It's actually taking a long time. Okay, well, that was like the worst fight ever, honestly. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting to do that bad. Near the save point, there's a room with an accessory, so go grab that before moving on. Oh, there's random fights here. Could train up a little bit. Might be useful. I wonder how much HP this heals. I'm gonna just try it out. Twinkler. Takes a long time to cast. It heals 405. Wow. Okay, it's actually pretty useful. There's another boss fight coming up soon. Um, so in here apparently there's a room with something called... Something's in here, let's see. Gold hairpin. That is a gold hairpin. Um, let's equip that I guess. Let's see what it is. Gold hairpin halves MP cost during battle. What's better, max MP by 40% bonus, or halves MP? Yeah, that's a... Uh, I think the gold hairpin is actually better. Where is it? Halves MP cost during battle, that's actually really good. Half MP cost. That's awesome, okay. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give... The other thing. Uh, where is it? The silver bracer. So she'll have more MP, and Riku will uh, have it half MP cost. But I really want to just sit here and train for a I little while. Hey, I want to fight too. Two damage, holy crap! I did not mean to do that. Oh crap. <laughs> now Pain's about to die. I'm about to get killed in this little battle. Yep, Pain's dead. And that just killed everyone. <laughs> wow. Yep, that was nuts. You think? <laughs> Man, I hate when you die because you don't earn experience. I'm just gonna say one more time. 
I need to find like a better like a better setup because I'm just getting completely destroyed in some of these fights. I don't know if it's just because I have low HP or what. I'm just going to train a little bit longer. Holy crap, like look how much damage that did. And that completely missed. Oh well. It's almost like if you have three like offensive classes and you kill them fast enough, it, it's all, it's like a risk almost. <laughs> it's like uh, who can kill the other first? So we're like all glass cannons pretty much. Like the enemies have low health and I have low health too, but we do so much damage. So I'm probably going to end this video soon here. Uh, if you guys don't want to watch more grinding, just end it here. I'm just going to grind for a few more minutes, and then I'll end this episode, and then the next episode we'll get through this part of the story. I just really need to get some levels, because right now I feel like I don't have any HP, and it's getting rather annoying dying so quickly. Especially during boss fights. Like, when you die, you have to go back to your last save. Actually, no you don't. I think you go back to the last, like, auto save. It's just annoying to die. I don't want to die. Nice work. It is cool that Yuna knows how to cure people, though. And it also cures status ailments as well, so that's actually a very useful skill with the Festivalist. I heard the Festivalist class really isn't that great, though, later on, so we'll probably have to switch her out um, when the time comes. But for early game, she's actually pretty strong, so I'm gonna keep her for now. So I'm going to do one more battle, and then we'll call it quits. Wow, painted 300 damage there. We just learned Ultima Sandals. Alright, we're gonna do one more battle, because I'm kinda curious to see what Ultima Sandals does. I'm pretty sure Ultima Sandals is just like Flare Sandals, where like 90% of the time it's just gonna do nothing, and then 10% of the time maybe it'll do a super strong attack, something like that. We'll see. 
costs a lot of mana to use it. Whatever it does. Blind? That's it? That's it? That's all it did? Like, seriously. <laughs> It cost 24 MP and all it did was cast darkness on the enemy? Stronger than you thought, huh? I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that bad on a boss to cast darkness, but... I mean, overall, that just doesn't seem like it's worth it. One more fight. Actually, let's see what abilities Yuna's landing right now. She's starting silence proof. Guards against silence, guards against pointless. Inflict damage and confusion. Guards against pointless. Hmm. I don't even know what pointless is. I'm gonna try Ultima one more time. Just to see if we'll actually use the main attack or not. Maybe I'm just getting like super unlucky, because I've never used Flare either. It's starting to bother me. Freaky's gonna die. And I just cast Silence. Why? Why? Okay. Ultima Sandals is freaking garbage. I'm never using that ability again. <laughs> not worth it. Alright, so I'm going to save my game here and I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next episode and we'll get through this little section. Um, just to look a little ahead in the guide, we're going to fight Ormi and Logos again. And let's see. Bum, bum. Then we're going to be fighting LeBlanc, Ormi, and Logos. And I guess we'll be done after that. And then we'll end this and we'll get our garment grids back. And we'll also unlock the Healing Light Garment Grid. And then we'll get to Chapter 3, I think. Or maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I think we have some other stuff to do, but... Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.